So the San Francisco 49ers pretty much shocked everybody over the weekend when they traded up from 12 to 3 with the Miami Dolphins, most likely to take their next franchise quarterback. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? We are going to be doing our number three overall pick, 49ers rebuild. Today, I went out, I re-signed pretty much everybody that was major that the 49ers brought back, like Kyle Juszczyk, like Trent Williams on the defensive side of the ball, Emmanuel Mosley, Jason Verrett, Verrett, Kawan Williams, Shaquiski Tart. We didn't bring back, or uh, we didn't bring back Richard Sherman because at the moment I am recording this, he has not been brought back yet. But I am very excited to do this 49ers rebuild today and take, I don't know, at three. Is it going to be Trey Lance? Is it going to be Justin Fields? I won't personally be taking Mac Jones. I just don't see the Niners trading up all the way to three to take Mac Jones. I just don't see it. I feel like they would have traded up to, I don't know, six instead um, and not have to give up three first round picks, just maybe two to do that. And I think he would have been there at six. But either way, massive trade by the San Francisco 49ers to move all the way up to three. It's going to be a quarterback. Nobody really is for sure if it's going to be Lance or Field. Some people do think it could be Mac Jones. Me, though, I'm going to be making my decision uh, based on Trey Lance or Justin Fields. Both will probably fit Kyle Shanahan's system amazingly. Like, it would just be great. And I'm just trying to get as much scouting as I can get done because we're going to have limited points if we want the correct draft order. Uh, we could just look at outside linebackers. That's kind of who I was looking at, really. Like, if Zayvon Collins fell to me, oh, my God, in the, in the second round. So I actually was able to do the trade with the Dolphins. I did my first this year, my first next year, and my third next year, which was the trade. But then we also have to throw in our 2023 first, which we will have to do when we can trade those picks at the start of the new year um, next season. So then we will actually look to trade some of the, uh, or that uh, first round pick and get the full deal correct. So yeah, pretty much we're going to have the new quarterback. I'm excited on the 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo will be here for uh, next year though, because they did say that. Uh, actually, I don't even know if I'm going to play Jimmy. Like pretty sure what's going to happen is like Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be the starting quarterback no matter who they draft. And then he's going to probably play all right to start the season. But by week six, they're going to be like three and three, two and four. They might be struggling and they're going to change quarterback. Like I could just not see, I just don't see Jimmy Garoppolo being the quarterback all 16 or now 17 games next year. I just do not see that happening. So let's figure out who we're taking at three. Also curious to see where Richard Sherman signed. I'm just, you know, if we end up facing him uh, throughout the year. So he ended up signing with the Indianapolis Colts. Okay. Joining another former Niner on that team in DeForest Buckner. So let's see who the Jaguars take at one. Huge surprise with Trevor Lawrence. Jets at two. They take Jamar. What? What? Every rebuild I do, right? Every rebuild I have been doing... <laughs> It's always Zach Wilson at two. It's always Zach Wilson. So I think Zach Wilson is still going to be the number two pick. So I will not be taking Zach Wilson because I don't think that's the actual pick that's going to be there. So it comes down between Trey Lance and Justin Fields. And I really want to do, and I really want to use Trey Lance, but I think I'm going to go Justin Fields. I think he's going to end up being the third overall pick. And you know, I, I don't know. It's tough. It's going to be one of these two. I just don't see being Matt Jones. I would personally go... I don't know, man. I really like Trey Lance, but I feel like Justin Fields is definitely the better prospect. And I'm going to take Justin Fields, and he's going to be our franchise guy. Not great. Oh, not great. But he will be our franchise guy no matter what in this video. Oh, Jalen Phillips went the pick before me. I would have loved that. And look who's still here, of course. Uh, we could go corner. Oh, my God. If Jalen Phillips was there, I would have been so happy. I would have been so happy. So we could go, like, I mean, we don't really need to go interior linemen with, um, what, Trent Williams, who we re-signed to that long extension, Lincoln Tomlinson, Mike McGlinchey, who I just picked up his fifth-year option, uh, Weston Richburg, and then we have Jordan, or Justin School, or, yeah, School, and then, uh, yeah, Richburg is 30, okay, so we could look at another interior old lineman, I mean, we lost, uh, Kendrick Bourne, so we could go with another receiver, but Richie James could be just our third guy out there, uh, we're good at running back, and obviously quarterback, on the defensive side of the ball, I was looking to add maybe another corner, uh, yeah, Jaquiski Tart will be the starting strong safety. We need an outside linebacker, though, and I have a f or a D tackle. So, outside linebacker, D tackle, corner, and receiver. I don't think like Rashad Bateman fell to me all the way down here. I didn't really scout receivers at all just because I didn't plan on taking one. But Rondell Moore, I would absolutely love if I had Rondell Moore. Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk. I'd be a fan of that. I would be a fan of that. So maybe I'm going to take Rondell Moore here. Let me just see what corners because Verrett will be a uh, free agent next year. So will uh, Mosey, I think, was a two-year deal, but I could be wrong. But um, Kwon Williams, he is a one-year deal. So we could look at like Sean Wade, but I don't know if you really like him too much. Tyson Campbell, uh, Eric Stokes could be somebody we could take. 
Uh, Greg Newsom, like these are probably going to be first round corners or high second round corners on draft night. But I think I'm going to go Rondell Moore in the second round here. Unless there's a stud D tackle, uh, Marvin Wilson, Jalen Twyman, he's pretty good. You know what? I'm going to go defense. We're going to build around the defense. I'm going to go Jalen Twyman out of Pittsburgh. Please be hidden development. Uh, both our draft picks, 69 overall, normal development. Not great. All right, so the draft has concluded. We ended up with Justin Fields, Jalen Twyman, Greg Newsom in the third round. He's 67 overall, normal development. Amon Rossi Brown, so we kept him in California. Went to USC. Obviously, we're a little bit more in Northern California, but he's going to be our one of our third receivers probably. We'll get the third amount of catches next year. It looks because Ayuk will be in the slot, and I think Debo uh, will probably get better or more looks than him. KJ Britt, a linebacker. Chris Owens, center. Uh, Khalil Herbert, running back and Arvin Fletcher were our draft picks in the 2021 draft. Not great with the overalls, but I'm happy with the players we got. All right, so let's take a look at our lineup going into our first simulated season. I think, like, I'm just going to delay the inevitable and just play or, uh, I guess, fast forward the inevitable. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And start Justin Fields as our quarterback. I know the Niners said Jimmy's our guy, but, like, we're just going to play uh, Fields. Anyway, we got Mostert and Yuschak back there. Ayuk, uh, Samuel, Amon Ross St. Brown. I would kind of like him to be our third receiver. Richie James... Uh, nah, he's going to be our third receiver, but Ayuk will be in the slot. Well, I'm a good she, uh, whoa. So we have Tomlinson, Williams, uh, who, where did, um, Justin Skull go? Oh, he's over there at left tackle. Okay, so we will have, who's this? Alex Bars, 25-year-old right guard out of, uh, Notre Dame. We could start Alvin Fletcher, the rookie. You know what? Let's just start him anyway, just because he's going to be, um, or he's a rookie and he's only two overalls lower than, um, who's ever, or Skull, or no, uh, Alex Bars, and then we got George Kittle, our 97 overall tight end. I forgot we have him. Yeah, he's going to get, like, the most catches or the most looks on the team uh, this year. And then we got Fred Warner, Drake uh, Greenlaw, Jaquiski Tart, and uh, Jimmy Ward outside as our safeties. Jimmy Ward's 30, damn. Uh, and then we'll have Quan Williams, uh, Jason Verrett, Emmanuel Mosey. Newsom will be the fourth corner, I guess fifth corner, but he could be playing next year. Eric Armstead, uh, Javon Kinlaw, who they took at 12 or 11 last year. With the uh, DeForest Buckner trade, he'll be our D-tackle one. We'll have Jalen Twyman as our D-tackle two. Nick Bosa, probably our best or second best defensive player on the right-hand spot. Fred Warner, stud. And then who do we want to start at right outside linebacker? Aziz al Uh We could play KJ Britt, honestly. Yeah, let's play KJ Britt, our rookie, there. And then let me just check out uh, our special this there. No, I want to have Brandon Ayuk as our slot uh, receiver. And then Emmanuel Mosey, yeah, he could be our slot corner. So our scheme is going to be a multiple zone run. It's 95%. I mean, that's that's too good to pass up on. And then 4-3, cover 3. Uh, I think we'll just go to base 4-3 yeah, as our defense. I mean, this team could definitely make the playoffs next year. And, like, we're talented enough to do so. It's just we got to wait and see how well Justin Fields plays. Can he live up to the number 3 pick hype that we took him at? So Brandon Ayuk will be our slot receiver. We should just put George Kittle there and see how well he would do. Let's go! Justin Fields leads us to an 11-5 record as a rookie quarterback. We edge out the Rams, I guess, with the tiebreaker that we must have beat them twice or just had a better conference record. Uh, and we end up winning division and we'll have a home playoff game. So, yeah, we beat them in Week 2 and then we lost to them in Week 6. So, we must have just had the tiebreaker while we went on a nice four-game winning streak. Uh, towards the end of the year. So we'll take a look and see maybe if Justin Fields got rookie of the year. That'd be nice if we can go up from normal to uh, start development. 60 the passing guards, 35 TDs, 12 interceptions. He was sacked 37 times, 64% completion percentage. Not bad, not bad at all from a rookie quarterback that honestly I didn't have a lot of faith going into because, I mean, no, I did, but like his overall and his development trade, it's all right though. Uh, Raheem Mostert, 897 yards, three and a half yards per carry, six touchdowns. How well did uh, Justin Fields do on the ground? So Fields, only 191. Okay, receiving Debo Samuel, 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns, 92 receptions. Ayuk, 76 for 990 and 10 touchdowns. Kittle, 73 for 773 and 7 touchdowns. And there's Amon Ross St. Brown. And then did, uh, yeah, Richard James. We don't go to four receivers, I guess. So uh, Lincoln Tomlinson and Trent Williams gave up the most sacks on the defensive side of the ball. We had three defensive players over 100 tackles. Fred Warner, Trey Greenlaw, Andrew Quincy Tart. Sacks, uh, eight for D Ford. Wait, I forget. Yeah, yeah, we, wait. What is D Ford's position? Why didn't I see him? Because it was Arik Armstead. It was uh, Nick Bosa. Why didn't I just play D? F oh, okay. Um, yeah, maybe I kind of fixed that, or maybe it's just working anyway. So Fred Warner had uh, three interceptions, same with Jaquiski Tart. Now I'm kind of confused. Let me just, uh, let me see this real quick. So yeah, Twyman only had 19 tackles, but he was our D tackle too. Okay, I guess everybody played pretty much, um, even if it was Arik Armstead and D Ford and Nick Bosa and uh, Javon Kinlaw and Jalen Twyman. So MVP was uh, 
No, there is no um. Uh, Trevor Lawrence was there. But he's probably gonna get rookie of the year, but different conferences. I was wondering if Justin Fields would be there. So Cam Newton on the Giants won Offensive Player of the Year. I'm looking for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Boom, Justin Fields. Let's get it. That is what I'm talking about. And did we get maybe Defensive Rookie of the Year? No, we did not. Uh, Twyman it wasn't even there in the uh, top ten. All right, so we have a home playoff game against the ten and six Dallas Cowboys. Can we beat them? And Justin Fields in his first playoff game, he unfortunately can't as we lose. 31-28, to 28. that hurts. I would have loved a division or that uh, playoff win. So we'll just take a look at the box score and see what happened. Dak had a great game, but so did Fields. They both threw an interception. Fields was actually sacked less. Damn, Garoppolo threw a pass. I'm guessing on a fake. I don't even know. Uh, Rushing-wise, Mostert, 15 for 75. Khalil Herbert got in the end zone. He was like our sixth-round pick or something like that. Kittle had a great game. Same with Samuel. You got in the end zone. Charlie Warner, Warner got uh, into the end zone as well as the backup tight end. Arvin Fletcher gave up a sack. Oh, it's just a shame. We had two sacks there. Who got the interception? It was Drake Greenlaw. Mm, disappointing end of the season. All right, so the Browns beat the Saints in the Super Bowl. I just want to see if Justin Fields went up to star development. No, he's still normal. Damn, that is rough. Okay, so are we going to cut Jimmy Garoppolo, and will we save some money if we do that? We will free $25 million in cap space, but in cure, uh, in cure penalty of two mil. Yeah, we are doing that. We are releasing Jimmy Garoppolo. I uh, am like injuries are um, off anyway, so it's not like I need a great backup quarterback. So Fred Warner, about to get paid. Uh, how do we only have 14 mil? Maybe if we simulate a week, it will change. But yeah, we are going to pay him a lot of money. And if he didn't accept that, I would tag him. So Mostert, we're going to let him walk. Verrett, we're going to let walk. Kawan Williams, let walk. Lincoln Tomlinson, I would like to bring back on a one-year deal. That might be our last signing until free agency, so let's see what happens. Please take it. Damn it. Uh, can we tag him? Can we afford to tag him? Uh, boom. Okay, we are going to tag him. I probably should not have done that. That was pretty silly to do. Damn, Justin Fields got the Offensive Rookie of the Year, but he did not go up to star development. Damn. So let's, I guess, see the trade market. I am going to have to trade my first-round pick uh, next year. Yeah, we don't even have our first-round pick this year, which stinks. So uh, trading my first-round pick in 2023 to the Dolphins for like a seventh just so we can get that trade done. Ooh, this hurts, but yeah, we got to do it. So obviously they will accept that. Now, I want to see if uh, D Ford, we got to look to maybe move or Arik Armstead. So Bosa, we obviously have. And then Ford, $21 million cap hit. I doubt he can get me a first round pick. I don't even know who would like want to take on, like the Jets can afford him, I guess. But like, they weren't even that interested. Would you give me pick 12 for D Ford? Probably not, but I would love that. Oh, not at all. All right, so like nobody's interested in him. So should we look to trade? I mean, Eric Armstead is a little bit better and younger. So I'm going to wait a week and then look to trade him. I don't know why I gave Lake and Tomlinson the uh, franchise tag. So if we want to sign free agents, we can see who's out here. And we actually have no money anyway. <laughs> we have no money at all. Damn. Uh, Baker Mayfield is there. No, obviously not going after him. Some good receivers are here. <sighs> Really sucks because I would have gone after not like it. I don't know about it, like a JJ Watt, Devin McCourty would have been interesting. Um, AJ uh, Boye would have been maybe nice, like a Hyde, one of those veterans. Damn, like nobody at all is interested in D Ford. I mean, I'm sure I can get like a fourth for him, but that's just like nobody's even medium interest. And I, I'd rather keep Eric Armstead than D Ford, so uh, probably have to settle and trade him for like a fifth round pick. Oh, I mean, like, let's just see here, Texans. Can, I don't even know if they can afford him fully, but like, would you give me your fourth round pick for D Ford? And they will. Okay, now I think I could have gotten possibly a third, but we clear up that cap space anyway. So now we actually can go out and sign some players here in free agency now that we cleared up uh, about like 10 million cap. So we could add another corner. I wouldn't mind adding a guard if one is here. So I'm going to have to sign Brian Winters to be our right guard and then uh, just a little bit of money. And then we could look at running backs. Like, I can lowball somebody. I mean, Aaron Jones is there, but we're not going to get him. Melvin Gordon's nice, but uh, we're, oh, Mostert actually got signed. Damn, he signed with the Washington football team. Okay. So, we could go after Naheem Hines, Leonard Fournette, Le'Veon Bell. Like, just on a one-year deal and pay one of these guys. Um, so, I'll, I'll see if I can get Melvin Gordon on a one-year deal because that's, like, the only player I would probably want to take. Uh, I'm just kidding. We can't even afford him. So, let me just lower this. I mean, if he signs it, he signs it dope, but I don't think he will. 24 points. Usually that never happens, but I guess we'll wait and see. So in the last day of free agency, we don't get Melvin Gordon or we'd even get Alex Kappa either. Or no, Brian Winters we went after. So it is draft time. All right, so we don't have our first round pick this year because of the Justin Fields trade. So I just want to take a look at our depth chart before I make my selection here at geez, sec uh, 24 in the second round. Uh, let's see who we have scouted out here. We could go outside linebacker, definitely. That was one of our holes last year. And we don't have our third. Yes, uh, we don't have our third. Okay, so yeah, this is a little bit rough. Like we could go, I mean, Cleo Herbert could be our running back. 
I mean, I, I want another receiver possibly, but Amon Rossi Brown could just be there. I mean, I wanted a guard as well, but we could use another outside linebacker. We're good with every other. I mean, we have uh, Body Calhoun, Manuel Mosley, and then we're going to have, or Moselli. Moselli, have I been saying Mosley? I apologize. Let's call him Emmanuel. And then Greg Newsom. Our corners are going to be pretty weak, so we could go uh, corner or outside linebacker. I mean, Jaden Hasselwood probably would be a good pick, but it's not going to happen. Ahmad Garner, mm, we could use another corner, but Brandon Smith, I might go. Oh, we could use a center as well. Oh, we don't pick against the fourth. All right. I mean, how many good corners are left after this? Uh, I mean, there could be a bunch still left in the fourth. And then what about outside linebackers? I doubt one of these guys makes it. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And then let me just check out guards, like who's still here. Uh, please tell me they scouted me some guards. They did, and they're not very good. Great. So what I'm going to do is just take, uh, do I take Ahmad Gardner? Or mm, I feel like I should over Brandon Smith or Mike Rose. So yeah, we're going to take Ahmad Gardner, the slot corner out of Cincinnati, 37th in true value, hidden development, beautiful. All right, so the draft recap, we, you know we took Gardner. I ended up taking Jermaine Waller, a corner, here in the fourth round. He's super quick, and he's a solid slot corner. DeAndre Square, we took in the fourth round. He's okay. Uh, Xavier Henderson here in the fifth round, just another normal development guy. And then Adam Metcalf, uh, another normal development guy. And then George Monty, another deve or normal development guy. So, yeah, we haven't been drafting a lot of Ahmad Gardner is actually our only hidden development draft pick in this video. It's a little rough. All right, so here is going to be our lineup for season number two. We'll have Williams, Hamilton, Richburg, Fletcher, McGlinchey as our O-line. Yeah, I guess we're going to play Alvin Fletcher again. And then we got George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk, uh, Debo Samuel, who's up to superstar X-Factor. Okay. Or a superstar development, not X-Factor. And then uh, Amon Ross St. Brown, I guess, will be our third receiver. Khalil Herbert, running back. Justin Fields, Kyle Juszczyk. I'm going to check the free agency pool and see if there's a good running back. DeAndre Square will be our starting rights outside linebacker. We got Fred Warner, Trey Greenlaw, and then we got Kinlaw, Armstead, uh, Twyman, and Bosa. Moselli, uh, Body Calhoun, Gardner, and then like we'll have Waller and uh, Newsom. Ani Body Calhoun will be actually the last corner there. And then we have Ward and Tart. Not the greatest secondary in the world. Gardner, uh, mm, no, I'm going to play Waller as our slot corner. And then we'll have. Probably Ayuk again as our slot receiver. So we made the playoffs once again. The assistant GM is congratulating us. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. We went 10 and 6. We were actually 3 and 4 at the midseason mark. So we did pretty good in the year. We went 7 and in, uh, in 2 to end the season. And we're taking on the Arizona Cardinals, another divisional team. Our an NFC West team in the uh, wild card weekend. Justin Fields wasn't as good as his rookie year, but he still wasn't terrible. Rushing-wise, Khalil Herbert. I actually forgot to look for a running back out there. Hey, it doesn't matter. We made the playoffs. Receiving-wise, Brandon Ayuk stud as our slot receiver. Debo Samuel gave a contract extension to, uh, and George Kittle was pretty good. I'm on my same Brown. We could always look for a better receiver in the offseason. I ended up re-signing McGlinchey. Glad I did that. Uh, Debo Samuel, Weston Richburg, Lincoln Tomlinson, and our punter, because we have like 95 million in cap space. So we're going to end Dre Greenlaw. So we're going to have like $50 million to spend it for you to see if we don't win at all. Sack leader was Javon Kinlaw, actually. Okay. Nick Bosa with only five and a half sacks. Three picks for Warner and Jermaine Waller. Let's go. What are the odds he won defensive rookie of the year? I doubt it, but I, you never know. Offensive rookie of the year, we would have nobody, right? Yeah, we would have nobody. Defensive rookie of the year. Uh, yeah, so Waller was eight. So, can we beat the Cardinals and win our first playoff game of the video? Or are we going to go 0-2? Let's go. We could the win 31-20. Now, we have to take on the reigning NFC champion, uh, New Orleans Saints. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but first, we'll take a look at... Uh, no, that's the preseason. What am I doing? So, let's take a look at this box score here. And uh, Fields was pretty good. Definitely outplayed uh, Kyler Murray. And then taking a look at the rushing game. Herbert was a great new check. Okay. They both got rushing touchdowns. Ayuk, Baller, and George Kittle, Baller as well. And then who got the uh, sacks on our team? Just a regardless, I got one. And Jaquiski Tart, who will be a free agent, got the interception. So let's see what happens here against the Saints. Can we beat them and go to the conference championship in Justin Fields' second year in the NFL? I don't know. They went 12-4. and four. It's going to be tough. Even though we are home, which is nice. I'm surprised we're home. What? We beat them by 17. Let's go. We are one game away from the Super Bowl. Okay. All right, everybody relax. Everybody relax. So what am I looking for here? The divisional round. We ended up beating them by 17. Three score win. Fields goes off. 
Beats the rookie of the year, I believe, Bo Nix. Let's go. Uh, Rushing-wise, Kamara went off. Damn. Uh, Herbert wasn't great, but we're winning these games, so I don't care. Kittle touched them. Samuel touched down. And Charlie uh, Wohner got a touchdown as well. Uh, Lincoln Tomlinson gave up a sack, and we had a bunch of sacks of our own. Uh, Twyman, Nick Bosa, and Armstead getting it done. Interceptions. Ahmad Gardner, a rookie, getting an interception. So can we beat the Giants and go to the Super Bowl? The 9-7 and seven Giants. We just beat the 12-4 and four Saints. How is this another home game? So I guess some other team in the a NFC South won the division. Yeah, it was the Panthers. And they lost to the Giants. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. Can we beat the Giants and go to the Super Bowl? Please, please, Justin Fields, a second year. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> we got destroyed. We lost 31 to 3. Oh, they have Tom Brady. Justin Fields was horrible. Damn. Oh, God. Okay. I want to forget about that game. Damn, I thought we were going to make it to the Super Bowl. So you have the Giants versus the Browns. The Browns uh, were there last year. I don't remember if they beat the Saints or not. And let's see who wins this Super Bowl. It is the Cleveland Browns. They beat the Giants 34-24, to and that is the season. So here are the award winners. Bo Nix ended up winning Offensive Rookie of the Year, but we ended up beating them in the playoffs. I don't know. So we'll take a look at how much Jimmy Ward and Tartar both free agents. Okay. Emmanuel uh, Mosley. Mosley. Uh, Brian Body Calhoun. We're going to let walk. Okay. So it's really just these three. Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt to bring them back. Worst thing's worse. I could like trade them if I find a better option in free agency, but I kind of don't want them to hit the free agency market. I'm definitely not going to tag them. Uh, Joquiski, Tart, we could bring back. I mean, I should have just offered Jimmy Ward a little bit more money. Uh, we bring back Tart. Uh, Mosley, we could look to bring back, uh, even if he's like our third corner, like I think we could be chilling. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Jimmy Ward will have to fill that role. So we're looking at guard, another receiver running back, uh, maybe outside linebacker and safety and corner. Okay. So we do have a lot of holes that I would like to fill. I mean, that could have sounded wrong, but you know what I meant? So Kyle Fuller, Ooh, I would love him. Uh, Rashawn Gary, I mean, we could play him at outside linebacker, Jervis Lange. Okay, so we don't need a quarterback. Running back who's here, Kareem Hunt. I think Kareem Hunt would be a uh, um, a pretty good option here. So let's give him about three mil for three years, and we'll give him a $3 million signing bonus, and let's hope he ends up signing with us there. 74 total points. Now we'll take a receiver. Like I said, I wanted to bring one in, and Christian Kirk would actually be pretty nice. We have Kirk, Samuel, and Ayuk. I could get behind that. So we're going to offer him seven mil. 4.2 um, and for four years, and let's hope he signs that. 92 total points. Don't need a tight end since we have George Kittle. Uh, tackle, we're good on with Trent Williams and McGlinchey. Roger Saffold, we could look to bring in. Play him over Alvin Fletcher, but let's see who the right guards are. Kevin Zeitler, yeah, he's definitely an upgrade over Fletcher, so we could bring him in. Still got $30 million to spend. All right, so outside linebacker, we could look to bring in Rashawn Gary and play him as our right outside linebacker. Um, Andrew Van Ginkle. Ginkle? I don't know, Ginkle. Uh, do we bring him in or Rashawn Gary? Uh, I think I'm going to bring in Gary. Yeah, and then we'll play him outside. I'm going to give him about 8 mil uh, and then a $5 million or $5.3 million signing bonus for four, uh, five years. Yeah, we'll do five years and hope he signs with us. 79 total points. He might, he might, he might not. And then corner and safety. I would love Kyle Fuller, Marcus Peters, so I will probably offer them deals. Shinobi Awuzie is actually might be the best option there because we don't have to get into too much of a bidding war. Okay, so let me uh, look at Awuzie or Awuzie. Uh, we're going to give him a two-year deal. And then, do I need to bring in a punter or a kicker, or am I chilling there? I am. Okay, I do need to bring in a kicker. And then, let me look at potential free safeties. I mean, we could always draft one. Earl Thomas, 33-year-old Earl Thomas. I mean, Jimmy Ward, I should have got it done before this. I mean, let's give him, like, 4 mil and a $2 million signing bonus. Can we afford that? Uh, we can. Okay, 122 points. Wow, yeah. So, what are the odds we sign everybody? Not very high. Let's see who we do sign, though. So we get Graham, you know, sick. We get Jimmy Ward. We get Chidobe uh, Awuzie. Uh, we get Christian Kirk, nice. So we don't get Rashawn Gary, uh, Kevin Zeitler, or Kareem Hunt. So let me look at my negotiations. Screw you, Cardinals. Screw you, Browns. And okay, so we could still get Zeitler. Uh, let's withdraw these offers, and we would have $17 million. I mean, yeah, Tony Pollard could be pretty good, though, and he's a scheme fit for us. So uh, we'll look to sign Tony Pollard uh, to be our franchise running back. Why not? Uh, and then let me look at either getting Rashawn Gary or that Andrew uh, Van Ginkle. Uh, just saying his name's funny, but I'm going to offer Rashawn Gary a deal. Yeah, we'll offer him that. And then how many points is that? 92. Oh, wow. That's only seventh. And that would leave us with... Oh, jeez. Okay. So let me offer him 10 mil and a $6.82 million signing bonus. And we don't have the cap for that. I don't know why. 
Uh, why do I not have the account for that? So can we offer him that? Okay. But it says we'll have 2.69 mil. What's going on? All right. 89 points. Well, that's not what I want. All right. So we're pretty much going to offer that deal to Van Ginkle and... <laughs> Why do I laugh every time I say his name? And hope he signs with us. So we do have a fifth year option here, and it is on Javon Kinlaw. Wow, it's really been four years. Okay, so uh, yeah, we are going to pick it up. I know he's been good for us. I don't know why it says no value. So uh, let me see who signed with us and who didn't. Please tell me we get the outside linebacker. We get Pollard. Oh, we don't get him. Damn. Okay, that hurts. So I feel like outside linebacker is where we're drafting, unless there's still a good one left, and I doubt it. Yeah. Oh, William Jackson's still here. You know what? Let's offer William Jackson a one-year deal. Imagine, like, we would have, like, four pretty good corners. We would have Gardner, a woozy, uh, woozy, and then we would have possibly William Jackson. We'd have, uh, who was the uh, other rookie corner we drafted? I forget. And then uh, Mosley, we would also have, yeah, so we'd have, like, Waller. Okay, yeah, we'd have a bunch of good corners. We have five good corners now. I think we're chilling. We just want to look at outside linebacker in the draft. I mean, we could look at the trade market. Oh, wow, that's huge. I should have realized that. Trent Waller was retired. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. And there's no more days of free agency. Beautiful. So, Oh, we don't have a tackle. We don't have an outside linebacker. I think I might just take only tackles and outside linebackers. All right, so I traded my third next year, my fourth this year for Matt Milano of the Buffalo Bills. So really, I'm just going to be looking at tackles in this draft, uh, even though we didn't have our first round pick. And ooh, quarterback. No, I'm not going to take one because... Uh, yeah, now we just filled out our outside linebacker spot that we kind of had a hole in. So looking at right tackles, oh, why did the computer, well, they did scout left tackles for me. Thank you. I mean, Brian Brady had a good combine and had some good grades, but the seventh round grade scares me. So why do I, do I really do this? Juan Delgado, this could be so dumb. I mean, what else was I going to do? All right. So looking at our season three lineup, it's Super Bowl or bust this season. The O-line though hurts. Oh. Is Barner actually going to start for us, the rookie? Do we not have a better option? I mean, I think what I'm going to do is start Alvin Fletcher at left guard and Lincoln Tomlinson at tackle. Sheesh. Okay. Yeah, it's the best option. We'll have Kittle, Ayuk, uh, Kirk, Samuel, Pollard, Fields, Juszczyk. Best skill positions we've had in this video, but probably the worst O-line, which stinks. Uh, the defense. Probably the best defense we've had in this video. We still have Jimmy Ward, Jaquiski Tart, uh, Moselli, Awuzie, Gardner. I guess those will be the top three. Newsome and Waller will be kind of falling out a little bit. This is a great D1. Like, this front seven is phenomenal. I'm just hoping... Um, I guess we could put Christian Kirk as our slot receiver, see how that goes. Gardner as our slot corner. And like I said, Super Bowl or bust this season. And we ended the season with a 10 and six record and Justin Fields will start off his career. First three seasons, three playoff appearances. We're taking on the nine and seven Carolina Panthers. Looks like it could be a winning, winnable game. I'm only saying that because they went nine and seven. Justin Fields, probably the best season of his career so far. You like to see him getting better. Tony Pollard, I think, yeah, our first thousand yard rusher in the video. Let's go. Receiving wise, Debo Samuel, 1107. Uh, yeah, like Christian Kirk, 741. Kittle, 763. Ayuk, 803. You love to see it. Four guys above 700 yards. Blocking, who gave up the most sacks. Okay, Lincoln Tomlinson, as expected. No left guard playing left tackle. Oh, it's going to be recipe for disaster. And whoa. <laughs> Nick Boso with 19 sacks. Okay. And then interceptions, Gardner had three, Ward had three, and a couple other guys. Had two. So we will now see if we can beat the Panthers and will this be our Super Bowl year? I think it is. I'm feeling good about it. Oh. It is what it is. But yeah, that is it for me. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this rebuild. We didn't get to win a Super Bowl, but I've been actually winning a lot of Super Bowls in my Madden rebuild, so I'm not too upset with this. But I thought this team would have done a lot better, than the, at least in this video. Maybe won a Super Bowl last year was our best chance. But uh, Tom Brady and the Giants beat us. But yeah, let me know who you think the 49ers should take at three. Should it be Justin Fields like I did? Should it be Trey Lance? Or maybe should it be Mac Jones? I don't know. Let me know down below. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Let me know what maybe everybody you want to see next as well. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.